Hey guys, Frank here. I know it's been a while, but I have a Bioshock 2 gameplay for you guys to watch. In this match, I'm in Survival of the Fittest, and I'm using Slugger and Houdini with the pistol and the elephant gun. And I'm actually doing this video because one of my, one of my subscribers messaged me on Xbox asking if I could do a video where I'm using Slugger and Houdini. So hopefully you're watching this video and you enjoy it. If not, then I can always record something more to your tastes. I do apologize though, at some points during this video I do use the pistol and the elephant gun. Primarily because uh, the person who is behind me at some point in the video grabbed two daddy suits and I really didn't feel like losing to someone who did that, so I pistoled them while they are in the suit. So hopefully you forgive me. So before I get right into the topic of the video, I'll explain why I haven't been uploading videos like I said I would in the past three weeks. I don't know why, but lately I just haven't been feeling multiplayer. So I've been playing Oblivion a lot, and uh, I just beat the game like last weekend or something. So I'll probably be playing Bioshock 2 more frequently until Infinite comes out. So you guys can look forward to some updates, some uh, videos. So today's topic, going along with my video, is going to be some tips on how to become a better Slugger user. I know a lot of people haven't used Slugger, but I think it's a fun thing to do sometimes. So before I get straight into the tips, I'm just going to explain that I do use default controls for both systems, PS3 and the Xbox, which means that my melee button is uh, B for Xbox and circle for the PS3. I know a lot of players uh, don't like to use B as a way to melee because it's hard for them to move around the map using their thumb and their pointer finger uh, being on B. I never really had a problem with it. I know some people their comfort range is different, so they change their control configuration so that the melee is on left bumper. Uh, I'm very comfortable with moving around with my thumb and pointer, so this is what I do. And if I were to suggest anything, if you guys are going to try Slugger, is just experiment and do what you're comfortable with. I know for a lot of people it depends on the size of their hands. Because I know some people uh, aren't able to use B just because their hands are smaller. So I guess you guys should just experiment to see what you're most comfortable with. So I'm just going to say that uh, Slugger isn't really a hard thing to get down. There are pretty much only two topics I can actually split Slugger into. And uh, those would be getting comfortable with the melee range and thinking tactically while using Slugger. If I were to compare Slugger to anything, it would be similar to knifing on Call of Duty, just because it requires the same amount of stealth. Uh, I know a lot of people who play Call of Duty that knife, they oftentimes try to run around map and try to get behind people, or try to surprise them around corners, and you have to try and use that same mentality when using Slugger on Bioshock. Just because chances are you're probably not going to win a face-to-face uh, -face confrontation with a decent, okay, or average player. Just because the big flaw of using Slugger is that it's very, very weak to stun-based plasmids such as TK and Electric Bolt, which are the most used plasmids. So you have to kind of warp your gameplay to fit to your playstyle. Uh, you'll notice that whenever I use Slugger, I always use Houdini in combo with it. Primarily it's because I play on Xbox a lot and Arrow Dash isn't really as effective as it is. Although I am decent at using Arrow Dash, I just like the uh, sneaky aspect because whenever I use Slugger, I try to move around the map and, be, <laughs> and try not to be seen. And also, if you notice, people who have used Slugger before, Many of your kills come from chasing people who are right in front of you and uh, corner kills. What I, mean, what I mean by corner kills is that uh, due to Bioshock's lag, oftentimes when you walk around corners and people are there, it seems like you are already around the corner and hit them before they even load it on your screen. Which is why Slugger is good. Uh, if I were to say anything, <laughs> tactically speaking when you're using Slugger, Try to stick to the corners of the map. You'll notice a lot when I play, I uh, stick to the sides of the map and hug the walls so that uh, it gives me the appear. It, it, it kind of makes me less seen on the map. You try and kind of act like a ninja and sneak up on people. Another tip I would give you is uh, for people who haven't had much experience with Slugger, 
is to be comfortable with the melee range. I've seen a lot of people who attempted to use Slugger, but failed just because they weren't uh, knowledgeable of how far they can actually hit someone with Slugger. Um, I know it's a hard thing to get down, but that's what practice is for. If you guys experiment with it, then it's something I can't really tell you because sometimes you're able to hit people who are a few feet in front of you, and it seems like you actually shouldn't be able to hit them. Um, yeah, Slugger isn't really a hard thing to get down. It's mostly just tactic based. And I don't really consider it a competitive uh, tonic just because it's one of those fun things that I do. Mm, let's see, is there anything else to cover while using Slugger? Um, other than just being sneaky and being comfortable with actually using Slugger, I don't think there's much more I need to cover. If I do think of anything, I'll probably make another video while I'm using Slugger. But, yeah, I guess what I'm going to talk about is, uh, the topics I will be discussing in my further videos. I have a lot of ideas, but, uh, I would like to know what you guys want to hear me talk about. I'm actually very comfortable with talking about anything, as long as it's relevant and not solely for the purpose of creating Bioshock drama, which the game's had enough of. Uh, so, yeah, I have some ideas, but hopefully you guys will comment and tell me what you want to hear. Or if you just want me to do my own thing, and then I'll get back to you. I have a lot of ideas. <clears throat> I'm not sure what I'm going to... I'll probably, if no one says anything, I'm just going to start tutorials on how to use weapons better. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay. I'm sorry that I couldn't get a match with uh, many good players. I don't really recognize anyone in this match, so hopefully you guys forgive me for that. As I told people before, uh, every time I record a video, it's usually in my first or second match, which is mainly the reason why I do so poorly in almost all of my videos. Is I'm not really that warmed up, but uh, maybe I'll try and fix that in the future. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and stay tuned.